Well, here it is, the 1990 Yamaha golf cart. It's quite a beauty, and it's been a great tool for around the homestead, but it needs a little upgrade. I often use this with a little trailer behind it to haul wood around. I also use it to move the wood splitter around the homestead. And for a lot of the year uh, here in Michigan, especially in the, the colder months, it's dark. It doesn't have any lights on it. And that's been frustrating. Even if the, the wife and I want to go for a golf cart ride down the road, we have to do it during the day. There's no lights. So what I did the other day was I, I strapped uh, one of my Porter Cable uh, work lights onto the front of this with some zip ties. And I ran an extension cord back here and I just use my little power centers to power it. And while that worked really well, we're gonna need to upgrade a little bit. We are gonna dig in and get this thing upgraded today and I've got a haul from a website called Timu. Have you heard of this? This is the, the new rage on the internet, this, uh, this site. Think Dollar General with more stuff and online and they have a, just a, a ton of really cheap stuff. Uh, there's some tool things on there, you know, kind of Harbor Freight maybe style tools and things. Uh, and they've got some real little things, but it's a great place to get supplies, connectors, and, and uh, little LED things, uh, lights and stuff. That's where I, I got all this. So let's pour out everything I ordered and see if we can put something together. What the heck do I need a clock for? Shrink tubing, a couple LED lights, chainsaw sharpening blades, Bunch of little various switches. Two LED lights, that'll work for the front. Got another one here, this will work for the back. Various electrical connectors, waterproof. This is a chainsaw sharpener. Thought I would try. You know what, this doesn't look half bad. We'll try that in another, in another video. 12 volt wire. Two soldering kits. Why did I get two soldering kits? I think they're both the same. Wait, they're different colors. Ooh. Has everything we need to solder for the job today. A ton of various connectors. So I got a bunch of butt connectors. These are sh uh, heat shrink uh, connectors. And then I got a bunch of, uh, what do they call these? I don't know what they call these. Circle connectors, various sizes. Should work for, we have, oh, there's some butt connectors in here too. These, these might be nicer. That'll be handy for today, but also to have for down the road. So it looks like these have a couple mounting brackets that will give us an angle. So we're gonna drill some holes. We'll mount these to the front of the golf cart. And then I was thinking it'd be nice to have a work light on the back. So we'll mount this uh, somehow on the back of the golf cart so we can see the, the trailer. If I'm loading or unloading in the dark, this will uh, work for that. So we'll get this mounted as well. I think we could just put them like one on each side up here. Okay, no. <laughs> but how is that so easy? It's just plastic. I 
Did you take it off the back one? I have my power for my battery looped up here and I'm just powering both switches from one wire and then I'm going to come out of the first switch here and I'm going to jump over to my front headlights and the easiest way to do these connections is just to grab a little piece of solder and wrap it around it kind of holds the two wires together and then I can just melt that solder in there. And then put my butt connector over. These connectors have a little piece of metal in the middle. I'm not sure if that's a piece of solder, if it actually melts when I apply heat to it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that would work. But at any rate, that metal smat, it shrinks down and it helps to uh, make the connection between the two wires. So obviously heat gun is best. You have a little more control, but this will work just fine.
That is actually pretty amazing. It, it casts quite a bit of light on the back uh, for just one little LED. So I've got a uh, backup light basically and a work light. And check this out. It lights up the whole road in front of this thing. It's like car headlights. I got them pointed down pretty far right now, but they those things work really good for cheap. Dirt cheap. All the wire solder, soldering kit, switches. These little switches. That pack came with four of them, so I could actually add, you know, other little little uh utilities on here if I wanted to add other lights or a winch or something like that, but pretty sweet. Well, the only thing I haven't tested from Timu is this strange chainsaw sharpener. We'll do another video on this. I almost forgot about my clock. Tells you the temperature? Sweet. 53 degrees in here. 1740. I like this clock. Well, it is so awesome to have the golf cart finally hooked up with some lights so I can use this uh, throughout the fall and winter time a little bit better. The, uh, the rear facing light was especially useful. I actually, uh, I, was, I wasn't going to put that on there at first, uh, but now I'm, I'm really glad I did. You can see what you're loading and unloading from the cart in the back, and it also works as a really good backup light. So everything I got from Timu was, uh, was actually pretty decent quality. I mean, as far as the things I was using, they're pretty cheap LED lights, uh, the wire and the connector and all that stuff. I mean, I can't really complain. Uh, the site is uh, is pretty interesting. It's kind of taken the internet by storm over the last uh, year or so. This uh, Timu, I've seen all, all ads for it everywhere. And so I finally checked it out the other day. My daughter was ordering some you know, these cheap little necklaces and bracelets and all these tinker, you know, little little dollar store item stuff. And I thought, uh, I, I want to see if they have anything that's useful on here that I could use. And so I started looking around and there's a there's a bunch of things on there. Things I would normally maybe order on Amazon. But I will say if you order things like this, this on Amazon would probably cost, you know, maybe $12, $13, uh, maybe $9, something like that for free two day shipping. You can probably get it for less than half that on Timu. And so you are gonna save yourself quite a bit of money. I will say that the uh, they don't have like a two day shipping option on most of the stuff. It does come, it does take a little longer to get these items from the website, but uh, everything came, you know, it, it came kind of packaged in a wad, like taped together, this was pretty cheap, uh, you know, packaging and shipping. But uh, everything got here, everything worked, everything was fine, and uh, they pack things pretty well nowadays. You can almost just kick it down the street. I think that's what the UPS guy does anyway. So what other upgrades should I make to the golf cart? What do you guys think? What could I add? Uh, I do need to get the blinkers working. I think that's uh, something I could work on. Upcoming video on the chainsaw sharpener. We'll do a bunch of stuff on chainsaws, chainsaw sharpening here over the, the wood heating season, so look forward to those things. Have any of you guys ordered anything from Timu? Love to hear your, uh, your experience. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up on today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.